Never like fucked someone who you felt nothing for. It's just that he had ridiculous kind of money and he was willing to spend it. On. Mm, God has blessed me to the fact that I know how to choose my opponents. And you know what? I have to have good energy to fuck you. I'm not doing that kind of shit. Sorry. Yeah. What energy are you feeling here in like, the room? Uh, I mean, I'm just feeling a lot of well, nothing. <laughs> Small boys. <isn't> <laughs> That's what she's getting. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this podcast and chill. Hang out with Tebuko. Tobejane. You know, we've done an interview with Dudizani Zuma. And that was for the ladies, because you know ladies love him. Yeah. I think this one's for the guys. Really? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, this Definitely one's for us. Ne? It's for us. Yeah. We're going to be talking about anal, sex, all the way up. So if you don't like that shit, tune out right now. <laughs> How are you, love? How are you, love? I'm good. I'm good. Hey, Dude, you got a beautiful house, man. You're living soft, man. Look you know, at this. You know what it is, you know? You got to maintain. You know? This is OnlyFans money. OnlyFans money started it. That was a deposit. Deposit! Ooh. That was a deposit. That was a deposit. I don't want to go to OnlyFans. Yo, yo, yo. So why do you speak about it in past tense? Because I'm done, unfortunately. No. Okay, you know what? The thing is about OnlyFans. When I started OnlyFans, it was lockdown. Yeah. So during lockdown, we know, hey, we're not hosting. The money was not coming in. Mm. So and you I, got a kid, man. You got bills to pay. You're a teenager. What a PS5. Eh? Exactly. What a yeah, the expensive schools. It had nothing to do with anybody else. Actually, I did... I looked at OnlyFans. I had to, I have a lot of good friends in the States, like bad bitches. Mm. Like, I want to have a bad bitch, double dose. Ah, they're called city girls now. Uh, oh, double dose. Double friends. doses are my, my girls. Like, they... they in, oh, so what happens with OnlyFans? Crazy enough. Whoa, who's double dose? Hey, it's twins. They're twins. They're double dose. They're, they are on... they like the shits. I made them in Dubai funny enough. We went in Dubai and we became girls because we just like on vacation and was... Party, party. I made double dose ch- twins and I've got another friend called Chrisana Maria who's in the States. Big girl, like 1.5 million followers on Instagram. Thick as fuck. And um, they kept on saying, babe, you know, because we're in Africa, you know. Yeah. They're like, babe, why, you know, we know, you know how, we know how you are. Yeah. So why are you not on, on OnlyFans? I was like, what are you guys talking about? I'm like, oh my God, I'm African. You know, you're African. I can't, I can't really, I can't, I can't really. Be data, 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 data. And then after that, they're like, I'm like, what am I supposed to do there? Yeah. Because OnlyFans has, has, has two levels, okay? Okay. Mm-hmm. Either you can be like a, like a hip hop connoisseur and just be playing beats on OnlyFans. And people on that, OnlyFans? Yeah. OnlyFans is not just for ass. This mm. is what people don't understand. Mm. So my friends are like, I'm like, show me what you're making. Yeah. So well, we must understand, like I'm in the rents country. Like, yeah. During Corona, I'm yeah. in the rents. Yeah. So you're like, hey, you're managing 5,000. Right? You, you're doing private parties mm. because there's no more hosting. Yes, yes, yes. Like those closed. Taboo is closed. How it everywhere? I'm like, I'm seeing a lot of girls also. You know, a lot of girls kind of look up to me as a, as a, as a mother of the baddies because I'm over 30 mm. in my late 30s. So they're thinking, oh, hey, man. What's mom doing? Mm. So I said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to go join OnlyFans. But the catch is, my girls, when you register on OnlyFans, if your girl is on OnlyFans and they use your code, they make commission. Shit. Oh. So it's low-key pimping, but not pimping. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what happened was my, my girl, Chrisana Maria, sent me a referral. 
She's like, register. I'm like, she's like, register. Just register now because this place, this shit is gonna pop. How much you making? She's making ten thousand dollars. We oof, without doing shit. I was already posting my ass. Everything is already on the internet. Where? Everywhere. <laughs> it's out there, bro. Google me when. <laughs> Google me. So, uh, I one thing about Africans, we don't like to own our stories. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to make a bigger announcement and say, I'm on OnlyFans. Mm. All these girls that are little freaks that want to be on Only, that, that are really doing nasty shit. Mm. Please do it and get paid for it. Instead mm. of lippies listen to some ha mm. You know what I mean? Like a lot of girls do some shit for free, which I don't. I've never been that girl that does shit for free. So, Kare, okay, fine. I did it. I got interviewed by the city press. They're like, what is OnlyFans? I explained. Black China's on OnlyFans. Mm. Alexis Scott, me, you know, my girls are in the States. I'm like, I. I'm you know Black it. China? No, I don't know her that well, but we have mutual friends. We have a few mutual friends. But I, I mean, I like her hustle. And um, I mean, I went to LA. So, um, I, like, I know a lot of these girls. Are, you know, we travel a lot. We go to Africa, we go everywhere. Mm. So, Kare, I'm like, let me let these girls own their story. So, if I do it, it's going to make it okay. Mm. If I say, let's be on fence. Like endorse it. Endorse it. Because mm. I care about it. People make sex like, yo, yo, you, you got fucked, you, your whole. Mm. Nobody fucking cares, to be honest, because everybody's yeah. getting fucked anyway. Exactly. Anyway, exactly. And you're making money now. And you, no, now you can. I've been posting my ass on Instagram. How did I get popular? Mm. Because of the Bunzak. Not because of, I said nothing. When people hear me talk, they're like, oh, wow, you actually can talk. Mm. They don't give a fuck. Yeah. So I was like, okay, girls, I'm saying this. Get on OnlyFans. I got on OnlyFans. Yo, when you're inside. Ish. So I decided, okay, how much do I charge? I mean, you know, I'm, I'm low-key popular. Right? Okay. Okay, how much do I charge? I think, fuck, I don't remember how much I was charging. I can't remember. I think I was... $17 oh, yeah. a month. Did, did you subscribe? Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I have subscribed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trust him to know. Okay, yeah. I mean, okay, so I was like, I'm a work of art, you know. My yep. body's a work of art. I use it. That's my medium. You look better in person, man. What? Just yes. Above me? He does. Yeah. <laughs> hey. does everybody here agree? No, no, no. Hey, yeah. round of applause. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so another thing is that during COVID, I ended up starting to think like, okay, what business am I gonna do? Because hey, you know what? Club hosting is the easiest money you can make. You go to a club, you look cute, you know, make up, about outfit. Let me move let me move your mic. What when I hear you properly, yeah. Sorry, about outfit. You walk in the club, niggas are like, ah, the boss arrived with the crew. We walk in, it's like this music video, you know, music. I, that money was gone. Mm. So I'm like, how am I going to make more money? I need to now think about other businesses. Mm. And I need to raise the money. So you'll be talking to a nigga. You know, obviously, I have... I'm sorry to say this. I have niggas on my case mm. for a living. Mm. You reject some, you take some, you leave some, you keep some. Mm. But, hey, a man doesn't mind buying your bag or Rolex. How do you judge which one to keep, which one to let go? You, 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 you tell them how, like, a big price. Okay, okay. <laughs> The ones that the one that says can afford that can afford you keep him. Not you always attracted to people. You always attracted to human beings. You always have like you you obviously everything is based on on vibes. Sex yeah, is about vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling it's you energy, now you, you yeah, can't you can't you can't fuck somebody you are not attracted to. Hundred percent. You can fuck somebody and think that oh I fucked this guy, and the guy will be like I the, she's not a good lady mm. because we we just didn't have energy. Mm. Mm. You understand so what have, I mean? have you never like? Fucked someone who you felt nothing for. It's just that he had ridiculous kind of money and he was willing to spend it on. Mm, God has blessed me to the fact that I know how to choose my opponents. And you know what? I have to have good energy to fuck you. I'm not doing that kind of shit. Sorry. Yeah. What energy are you feeling here in like, the room? Uh, I mean, I'm just feeling a lot of well, nothing. <laughs> Small boys. In That's what she's getting. I'll mentor you. Oh, wow. She'll pimp, she'll pimp us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when I want to when I got pimping. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, so now, because you know you gave me a shot of gin, so yeah. I, you have to bring me back. No, that's fair. Okay, so I was like, hey, I need money to raise a business. So I'll be like, chilling with this nigga. I'll be like, hey, mm, thank you. So, you know, I can't do business. I can't do business. I can't do business. I can't do business. I can't You know, like my dad was the founder of Principal Products. And, you know, I feel like I'm going to go back in the, in the hair industry. I don't know. I was going to be close point. Close point. I 
Okay. Eh, yeah, yeah. Spons. Bye. Zir. No spons. Lies. Yeah. Lies. Capping. Huh. Why are you lying? Just mm, tell me. Mm. But when I say I want to leave a ton bag, because men take women as, as, as trophies, especially even now. All of a sudden, girls with big bums mm. are dumb. Mm, mm, mm. All of a sudden, we became dumb. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, but I don't think that girls with big bums are dumb. I've never been... Before, I was a nerd. Now, all of a sudden, because of what's cool, I'm dumb. Mm. You know? how work. I might, I might, baby. Someone can kill us. Someone can kill us. Mm. I don't know why you need it. And you're like, oh, okay, get like, get like, get like, how about that? Shall it be a business? How about wolf? Mm. Only fans, people don't believe this. I used to make during COVID almost 200,000 rand a month. Wow. I did. Fuck me. Okay. And I registered my Capitec account. No? <sighs> Next up, it's the FNB. Yeah. I made 200,000 a month and I did it for four months. Mm. So I already achieved what I needed to, to do. That's a mill. Dude. A mill is nothing. What, what, what content did you have on OnlyFans? So that was a problem. Mm. I have a I have a 14 year old. Boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was one day I'm busy talking to my friends. Ish, you know, I've got to shoot adult content. So my son messages. You know, you I've got it's like I'm a woman. I've got to I've got to check my son's phone at least twice a week mm. to check. You know, who he's talking to. Mm. Because Maybe he might have subscribed to your channel. No, you know? no, no, he can't. He doesn't have a card. Oh, okay. Crazy. okay. So <laughs> he's got a card, but he's, he's gonna like, pay cash. He's, like, he's gonna pay cash. He's gonna pay PayPal. <laughs> yeah, PayPal. Sometimes, sometimes <laughs> I say he can't because the tips are from your card. Because yeah. yeah. when I'm talking to you, you might just be like tip, 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 tip. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. So my son was like, so a message from his side saying, Mom is shooting something with adult content. I'm not sure about it. Mm. So he Googled only fans. Mm. So we can, ish, 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 ish. You know, this, this is this is hectic. Mm. So what happened was that now you can't post certain stuff. I'm not saying as a mom I'm restricted, but you know, it's hard enough having a mom like me. And then now your mom your mom's ass is already on the internet yeah. in general. Yeah. You know, his friends come in, his mom is like a MILF. Mm, I really, mm. I mean, I'm cute. Yeah, yeah 100%. Okay. Yeah, 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 I mean, you guys, guys, you yeah, guys are yeah, good. No, 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 100%. So I was like, okay, fine. I needed to explain to him, okay, so all the stuff, remember I used to post bikini stuff? Yeah. I'm not posting that bikini stuff anymore on Instagram. I'm putting it on OnlyFans. Okay. But when I made my money, I was done with, what I wanted to do because it was it was a means to a way. At the so time. there's nothing sexual, no sexual content. Everything is sexual. I mean, I would post reading a book looking like a nerd. I would post like a bit more. But no open. sucking dick, not none of I that. I couldn't. Mm. You know, I mean, if I could, I would, mm. but I didn't mm. because of what it's gonna bring ten years later for my child. If I was probably a single girl, the money that was offered was so good. Mm. And um, I have a good friend. I don't know if you know a guy called Fetcho. Fetcho is um, Fetcho, the radio guy. Yeah. Fat Joe, that's my nigga. Yeah, yeah. Fat Joe is my nigga. Like he's, there's one person that has, we've been friends for a couple of years and we've grown. Shit, I'm trying to get an interview with him, man. Yeah, that's easy. I can call him right now. Ah, clean, clean. I'm for like a job. I'm about to and I know that's my nigga. Ah, nice. Um, so when I registered on OnlyFans, he's a very conservative guy. People actually think Joe is, is like this, like very conservative. Joe be like, so I asked Joe, I'm like Joe, because we're working on a project together, and I said Joe, I'm on OnlyFans. Like, Why? I'm like, are you, nigga, are you going to give me the money? What are you saying? I'm mm. on OnlyFans. He said, there's a point where you're going to get pushed to a limit where you're going to be offered something that is so big that you will do things that you will regret. Ah. So I was like, no, nah, I What won't. were you offered? What were you offered? Uh, I was offered money, millions, trips. Yeah, to do what? To finger myself. To finger yourself. <laughs> <laughs> a, bit, a bit of a, a digress, not much though. But have you been offered those Dubai trips where you know people poo on me, poo on you, shit on so, you? Oh no, that's never happened. You is know, that a thing? Not even an offer. No, because I don't know. I really and you know, which is crazy. It's is a that thing. Yeah. no? Okay, now we're diverting. Let's finish the the joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll 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 to the golden shower. Well, what are the gold, the golden poos? The golden shower. He's getting too excited. <laughs> <laughs> no, now we move from fingering to peeing on each other to pooing. 
Mm. Yeah, yeah, Nobody's yes. pulling on me. Sorry, I've got sensitive skin. I've got, you know. So the most you did was just maybe show your boobs. I showed my boobs. Yeah, your that ass. Is. That's it. No, my ass. I already showed. Them. Yeah, yeah. I'm in the. I'm in Miami. I'm in LA. So nothing I'm with just, another guy. No. Or no sexual girl. intercourse. No, nothing. No, no. Mm. Another girl. That would be nice. I would have probably made more money, but I didn't mm. do it. So the guy is inside. Okay. Now you have to be tactical. Mm. So oh, my picture or oh, okay, I'm chilling by the fridge. Oh, I'm so cute and sexy. The guy's like, oh baby, you know, go to the bedroom with the fridge. Okay. Then and he's tipping. Mm? He's tipping. Hundred dollars. Okay. So when I send a message to you, for you to open that message, you don't know what the fuck is in that message. Mm. I can be like, in that message going, I mean, at some point the guys were angry. Right? Now you're, you're a cab. Mm, but it's yeah. because all the other girls now were doing, doing all the nasty stuff. What would you say your clientele was? Because I mean, OnlyFans is worldwide. No, I wanted to block South Africans because mm. that was when I was thinking about the temptation phase of saying, ish, ish, ish. Mm. You know? Mm. But I didn't. I didn't block. I didn't block any. I think I said they made, this is my market. But so your market is more, mostly uh, international. international. My market is mostly international. I don't feel like I'm appreciated at home. It's only now after Movango age. Now I'm getting a little bit appreciated. You know what? Uh, it's so weird. Like I didn't know about you until a week ago. Shame. Eh? Until, until I told him about uh, you. Saul told yeah, me you about you. Yeah, you me a pimp though. <laughs> no, it's, no, the, no, we'll get to that. I'll, I'll sell myself before I sell other people. But I don't do that anymore. But before <laughs> before we get into that, yeah. is this all real? Okay, so okay, um, you've seen my son, right? Yeah. I was always there with Dibun. Okay. Ask anybody. I used to go to the club. I'm, I was listening to you and Kanye's interview. I was like, Libra Kadi, 115. I was there. I was the girl there. Yeah. I was always. So it is real. That's how um, African women look. Mm. We look like this. But after my baby, I had a baby with a rapper at 24. Last year, for a famous rapper, oh, Cashless Society was that famous? Who's that now? Hey, Snaz, this is Snaz D. Yeah, I can never have a baby. Snaz Gemini, Gemini, Major. Oh, Gemini, Major, Gemini. No, 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 uh, child maintenance or his cash and don't worry about that we could <laughs> <laughs> that was always a joke I was like why leave this on cashless we're a cash fool but <laughs> <laughs> okay yes yes yes, yeah. yes I forgot now what I was saying no you have the baby 24 cashless so I have 24 final year of film school my parents had died I inherited some money you know the right thing to do as a pity girl you must be educated yo hey the, you know when you're young, he's making beats. I'm trying to be an actress. Hey, sexy man. And this is pure love. Pure love. It was before the blessers. <laughs> before you knew, hey, guys, can give me money. Harry can make donuts or a share. No, you're going to make donuts. Hey, it's a cotton scent. Big Mac is only $10. Yeah. But we can't wait. Look what else is going on. You're going to be like, yeah. It was yeah. good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, that was love. We were in love and, you know, it's, after that I realized that it's, it's, this is not... Working. It's not working. I was in film school third year and then after that I had the baby in Cape Town. You know, I inherited the money. After it was not cheap. After. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After it was expensive. Now, when I, I don't know how much it is right now. Mm. Then it was 34K a year. Mm. I, I, my sister got a bursary. Mm. Um, but I didn't. Because I don't know, I was I was a drama actress. I mean, I've always been a diva. I'd rather work. I was working at Marvel in Cape Town as a waitress. You know, I didn't get a bursary, and I was paying. And I had the baby. After I had the baby, now I forgot what I was saying. I lost my... <laughs> We're talking about is this all real? Okay, yes. Mm. After that, I had the, I had I was pregnant. I had a big bar. Mm. After the baby, I had to come in this bar. Mm. Good bigger. Mm. I gave myself my 30th birthday gift. I was like, you know what? I'm single now. I don't have this man. I'm going to do some life on my stomach. Oh, mm. so we've done the stomach. I've just done the stomach. That was mm. years ago. Through that, whether or not you do lipo, this is what people don't understand. You can do lipo, but you need to gym. Mm. If you don't gym, you're going to gain the weight back. 
if you don't exercise and take care of yourself and take care of your skin, you are going to gain the weight back. So I did like that. It's my gift. I was like, fuck it. I'm single now. I want to meet what was relevant. I want to meet that man. I did lipo on my stomach. And that's all I've done. It was lipo on my stomach. But I read somewhere that French Montana um, paid for you guys to get lipo and all this how? other stuff. How? 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 Why would French do that? <laughs> like, mm. French French is my friend. Um, I've been friend, I've been friends with French from my first trip went to LA. Funny enough, we were walking on Rodeo Drive. Wait, how the fuck do you get to LA? Yeah, that's how, that's how, I, that's the kind of girl I am. I was like, it's also weird to talk about that, LA. So who takes I, you to LA? You bought the tickets I yourself. Bought, we bought our tickets ourselves. And I'm not lying. Yeah. Nobody flew me to LA. We bought the tickets ourselves. The first thing, I can't have a Kim Kardashian fan. I can't Kim Kardashian is the relevance of X. Yeah. Got the first thing when I landed in LA. I was like, guys, we're going to, I took... Four of the four of my I'm not even talking to any of those girls anymore. Four of my ex friends, I was like, come guys, we're going to LA. You pay for all the tickets. No, no. Oh. So everybody paid for their own tickets. Mm. Some of us managed to have some business class, some of yeah. us came no. the economy. Mm. I had a guy who's a friend in in the States. He was a soccer player at okay. the time. And he had a house. It okay. was in LA. And in LA, you live in either downtown or you live in West Hollywood, or you live in the hills. Ah, the hills. There's no network. <laughs> For real. Yeah, because you know we're always on our phones. Yeah. Mm. Um, we didn't stay in the hills. So he's. So we got there, and I met him through a friend of mine, who's a Nigerian, and his dad was a big billionaire. Mm. So I had done a favor. Mm. No, yes. not Davido. Please. Okay, no, okay. No, 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 oh, no, no. all right. Mm. Uh, please don't, don't worry mm. about David. Mm. Um. Um, first name basis. Mm. Mm, yeah, I mean, I'm 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 on first name basis with a lot of people. Yeah. I mean, whose me. idea is it to go to LA? I, do you just wake up and like fuck? Let's go to LA. Yeah, because I mean, what what I'm in a film school. What was the, oh, that was my dream. Oh, if you take away Hollywood, I wanted to go. Oh, you know what? You know, you should go upstairs to my room, please. You, I don't know. I'll one, go. One, Mesh. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, no. Don't you go. You go. Too long. Please, on my wall, please. There's a picture. They bring that picture. Okay. Okay. So I wanted to go to Hollywood. It's a dream. Like who? Like traveling oh. is important. So it's from after. I went after. And Hollywood is the place I to mean, be. Yeah. And you know, after you were today for Hollywood, mm. you, you know they prep you for that. They prep you for that. Mm. And while I'm chilling, I'm like, no, I'm going to Hollywood. Mm. After I got my life home. But all right, I'm coming with my girls. I said, the girls, let's go mm. because everybody's gonna be relevant. So when you get to you don't realize, you guys in South Africa, you don't appreciate us. Mm. I get some of my uncle starting in the mall. Are you, are you black China? I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> Take a picture. <laughs> Bring that picture. Let me show them. Oh, wow. Yay. Mesh, give us the picture there. <laughs> the, the S makes the picture heavy. I, you need help. <laughs> Here we go. So, I mean, Can you get this on camera? Oh, gosh. That was me. On the Hollywood Hills, we went hiking. I mean, First time in LA. First time in LA. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? I mean, I hope I have a bold and the beautiful. Who took the picture, Faith? Yes. Mm. Yeah, she did. She did. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you know, from mm. Soweto to Hollywood. Dude. Not Perry. Yeah. Hollywood. So you get there. You have you you know the Nigerian guy. No, the Nigerian guy's not there. Mm. He's my friend. Mm. I'm like accommodation. Tolol. They're like, okay, what you? So he says, I got a friend. Mm. I got a friend. He's got a house in West Hollywood. Soccer player. Soccer player. Sure. I actually don't know the guy. Okay. I never met him. Mm. He's got a house in in West Hollywood. Mm. You guys, I spoke to him. You can stay at his house wow. for free. Who's gonna say no to four African city girls? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Bad bads. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm. Got to the house. House. It was called Lemma Redeen. I think it was Lemma Lemma Redeen in LA. So we get there. We drop our bags. Where is the first place we go to? Kim Kardashian's shop. Dash. Yeah, yeah. Dash. Yes, 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 yes. Dash. What's that? The outfit. Everything Kim Kardashian. I wanna buy it. You didn't oh, see did, her there. Did Kim? No, we wish. Sorry, please. <laughs> did Kim buy this? They're like, yeah, she has this. I'm like, how could I swipe? We we had money, you know, what hassled. Mm. He asked a boyfriend, mm. everybody to do to make the pods. Yeah, mm. even the ones that are asking you out, I'm going to make one thousand dollars more. Mm. Okay, all right, okay, two thousand. Oh, okay, by the time we got there, we were chilling. We we each had about maybe fifteen thousand mm. dollars. So we knew that was shopping, food, you know, 
life. Hot tour mall is very expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go for lunch, have a tequila and sashimi. That's four hundred dollars. Wow. Wow. Ten thousand. So. Como de café? Como de café? Not. Limon, a rico, tachas. So. We get to the buy the stuff. We walk down on Rodeo Drive. When we're walking down Rodeo Drive, how? Oh. So um, my friend at the time was not my friend anymore. She says, hey, you know, I heard what? What did you hear? Oh, any nigga that drives an Escalade, you must talk to them. Mm. Escalade King. Get that car. What is yeah, yeah, SUV. Yeah. 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 So stop at Escalade. I'm not going to say who. He's like, yo, where are you guys from? We're like, Africa. Like, oh, we love Africa. <laughs> <laughs> And I mean, I'm not going to go deeper into that, but that's how we ended up in the States. And then we ended up in circles. We ended up chilling with French. We went to French's birthday. We're everywhere in the States. You know, we went to the biggest parties. Wow. Had a good time. That's how we started the hosting thing because we used to get cold to come to the party and then we leave like $100. Mm. I'm like, why are we getting this $100? Like, no, because I mean, y'all, y'all make the party happen. Like, mm. Ooh, yeah, thanks for coming. So before, Mojo is Bosumo. What have you? Yeah. Never, never phone it. Damn, sir. Oh, guy. Yeah. Guest list. Hi, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the Hi, man. It's like a club. I think the niggas are paying for us to be there at the club. Exactly. They're like, oh, okay, we're going to pop on to the guys. The promoters of the club would be calling us and say, no, they're going to come. Don't worry. Let me phone it. So now, you know, wake up. 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 We met, I mean, I met a lot of people. And are you, are you like uh, starstruck when you see these people? You got to keep it cool. Oh, yeah, you can't. You can't, can't act all hell. Any people. of the famous US Oaks hit on you? Everybody hit on me. Shit. Anyone got to hit? Fuck, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> But you know what? You mentioned something very <laughs> profound. You said that us in SA, guys, we don't appreciate. I appreciate it. We're fat. So I wanted, to ask, I, did I wanted to ask you, when you go there to America, right? Because mm-hmm. Americans, Kylie Jenner has to pay to look like you. Yeah, we this look is, like this. This is all natural. So are they like thinking you're fake and you tell them it's real and they're like, they can't believe it. But you it. can see what's real and what's not fake. Yeah. yeah. To and be then honest with you, you can see. Like, honestly, try doing your body. If you're a skinny girl and you do your body, you will not look like me. Mm. You are just reshaping. Do you understand what I mean? Like, this is a structure. The legs are thick. You know, the way you walk, you are thick. Like, so when they see you, they go crazy. Yeah, what? I'm really famous. And Runaki, ah, get the move. I went out to the body moon. I fell at him. I fell at him. I fell at So, yeah. <laughs> But I don't call up for a mean time. Me now there, I'm trying to be kept, you know? Yeah. 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 All right, cool. Before we, we, we talk about all of that, now, we got to talk about your up, upbringing. How was your upbringing? How was your childhood? Because, I mean, crazy. your dad was the co-founder of Black Like Me. So, you know, it's a crazy situation because everyone says a co-founder. And I want to say, Papa Heman is like someone that I grew up with. Um, he was like somebody, my dad and Papa Heman were very good friends when they were young. So they were baby boys from the hood hustling. Mm. And before we, social media. We, before social media. And uh, Papa Nanani, Saloon, Kutop Senvili, Nabito Kanduna. They used to have the best Pem. They even had songs where I called Pema Kanduna in Topsi, you know. Or S. Kelly Papaka was the shit. Mm. So I don't know what happened. I think maybe it was like two boys that were both hustling. And maybe they didn't reach an agreement. And my, my dad founded Principal Products, yeah. which was a big brand. Mm. Okay. It was big. It was actually bought over by Procter Gamble before he died. Yo. Wow. Which is crazy. Mm. You know, um, it was bought over. For a black man that time. Yes. Damn. So at, at, at 37, he was a millionaire. Jeez. Yeah. Um, he unfortunately, he passed away. Yeah. Um, at the age of, you know, I was 14. What happened? He got murdered Before in Pulukwani. Yeah. So he was like going back to his roots. I got my baby, but yes. we were just away too. Mm. So he went back to the hood and um, to, to Limpopo and he made a girl he fell in love with. So now check her every weekend. The story I hear from my uncles was that they were somewhere and they were tired. The guy used to, the guy used to drive Porsches, mm. Range Rover at the time, Manili Nissan Patrol. Wow. So these young guys were like, hey, Tatuna, oh, oh, la pressure. Mm. They tried to argue with his friend. Stupid fight. This was a big guy. Like, I feel like so we were too chained up. Like, my dad used to go to Atlanta. I have pictures of my dad in Atlanta. Wow. Then, like, 
He flew the Concorde then. Yeah. He he had lunch with the Queen then. The Queen? The Queen of England. Like we had a, actually, you just don't have it here. There's Why are you the fucking your only fans? Which is gay. You grab soft. I grab soft. I don't need to struggle. Calm down. Why are you judging me? I'm about to cut this fucking interview. Yo, you, you got the Queen on WhatsApp, bro. <laughs> You take me too far, my boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say sorry. Sorry, yes, okay, yeah. For the so, sake of the podcast. <laughs> yeah. But you mean it? Yeah, I know, I do. I'm actually done answering your questions. No, no, I feel no. Like yeah. you're judging me. No, 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 no. no, 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 no everybody no, no, say no. sorry. Everybody say sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so, you know, so. um. The crazy thing was that I was raised by my mom and dad, and my mom had depression, and she committed suicide when I was nine. Shit. And um, I didn't know what depression was at the mm. time because that time never. What time? And um, my dad and I got close. He died when I was fifteen. He died interstate. So interstate is when you die, even if you have money. Your kids are gonna have to wait till they're 21 at that time oh, to get the money. To get the money. So from being this like kind of wealthy girl from the ages of 15 to 20 to 21, Living. I have seen Ahana Nix. We had a house, mm. huge house in, mm. in Redport, Florida. I went to Constantia Primary. Then my sister went to St. Catharines. You know, we're still in good. They pay the bare minimum. Mm. We were used to living the best life. But there's no money coming in. No, the mm. house is huge. Maintenance mm. we can't mm. afford. Yeah. My aunt, who's trying, she at some point learned that she was tired. Like, mm. I, I can't pay for these things. These are these things are bigger than me. We have to wait till I'm I'm mm. 21 yeah. to get the money. Um, so that was traumatic for me because. My dad used to let us talk, you know, because not America. He used to be like, you know, yes, express yourself, be characters, be strong. You could actually, I wasn't raised in a, an environment where my kids are not spoken to. Mm. You could argue. Mm. If, if you wanted the buffalo, you know, you know the buffalo. Yeah, yeah I remember buffalo. Yeah. Oh, what a buffalo. Okay, clean the pool. You know, mm. we, had, we had a negotiation system. So I think that's what taught me to kind of be a hustler. Okay. Because you had to. I had to. Yeah, there's no at choice. That point. But funny enough, I was a bit scared. So I didn't. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with doing what you need to do to hustle, but I didn't have to um, do the most because mm. I had a roof. Because the roof is the most important thing. Yeah, yeah. Wait again, even if, even if, um, ahuna di jung mare ho kobal marobalo. It's very important. At what age do you realize, shit, I can use my body to make money? Late, eh? Nah. Late. Were you getting all this attention from boys when you were young? Like 15 to 21? Not not as much. Because, because you're I, a nerd. I was a nerd. Mm. I, was, I was a tomboy. I was a skater. Mm. I used to skate. Because you know the school uniform will lie to you. You'll only see during CVs with, hey, hey. Or the book, hey. Or during netball. <laughs> netball was the yeah, vibe. Netball. <laughs> so, so now, what happens when you're old enough to get the monies? I got the money. Took myself to school, made sure that I distributed it amongst the the, the, the sisters, and everybody had to live their life. Was it a fair it, amount of money? Yeah, I mean, at that we we should have inherited like about fifteen million rand, but people ate the money. Mm. And you're young. And you're young. You don't know. What's happening? Like the lawyers shot the money. Eesh. They said you yes, get. So in the end, it, people people used to always think because they knew my dad that oh they were inherited a lot of money, but what's a million rand if? It's if nothing. you've got to pay for school, if mm. you've got to now nothing. have back payment, or now you've nothing. got self-esteem issues, now you want to prove to your friends black that you're tax. not poor, you've got black tax. So all I'm grateful for is that at least we got to go to school. Um, we had that system because my dad said, if your will is your education, mm. you can be anything. As a woman, your will is your education. Be able to negotiate mm. for yourself, you know? Yeah. And when he passed away, though, uh, did he... St- Still have ownership of the company, and no, what he had happened? Sold to it to Procter and Gamble. Oh, he had sold it by the time. Oh, so he sold yeah. the name. So he was going to start a new formula. Oh. so you sell it like it's like maybe where now you are uh, your your gin, Oberik Salibizo, and the, the big gin company is a big Oberik Salibizo Laha because of based on marketing. Mm. formula, now maybe now and then can be. Yeah, but he is. So he had taken the formula. He was developing it before he died. Oh. So and you guys were close. We're very close. That mm. was my best friend. And do you think you have daddy issues? What you, you asked that to Kanye as well. Can't give us daddy issues. Does it turn you That's on? my go-to question. Hey man. <laughs> 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 what the fuck are daddy issues? 
<laughs> I'm not looking for a daddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know yeah. KM though. <laughs> <laughs> so you do in a, in some weird kind of way. I think I have I have such a big um, expectation of men in my life. I expect them to be like these amazing giants. And sometimes, and we are trash. And you guys are trash. Not Have you ever met a guy who's lived <laughs> up to, to your expectations? Yeah. Like your dad's expectations as well? Mm-hmm. For real? Yeah. What happened to that guy? I mean, we, you know, we move on yeah. until the next time. Yeah. What, what, I got a 24, sharp. You go to America, whatever. When does a slave queen No, I didn't, I didn't do it. I did tw- America at 20, 20, 31. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had to raise a child. Oh. So after film school... After having the baby, you didn't ask me that part. Yes. I now had bills to pay. Okay. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Um, me and my boyfriend were not investing at the time. Party. Uh, 115. Natural. Who not? Mm. And I'm the girl. Hey, baby. What's a cup play? Let's go on holiday. How? You now come out of oh, shit. You go to castings. Really, I was a good actress. If you ask Garth Holmes, any. All my principals at school, they loved me. I was great. You know, I was I also had issues. So I could go into character properly, you know, because I could cry when I need to. I could get into Alba emoting, you know. I studied like uh, how to how to act and but hey, So you're about this acting shit. I'm about this acting. That's what that's what was my passion. It was my way of 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 healing in a way. You know what I mean? Like it was healing for me to act. It's nice to be someone else. It's nice to be someone else because your reality kind of sucks. sucks. Mm. You know? So after that, you realize that you don't have Nan. Mm. You have to get a job. Hmm. Um, then I started working as a booker. Right? A booker is a um, person that gets the briefs or the castings. Okay. You get the brief for the casting. Hi. This is Deborah from X Factor. Hi, um, can uh, Mama, Mama Timbi, can you go to a casting? Yes, F. Okay. Uh, it's at casting directors between one and five. Mm. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. I'll send you the email. Okay. Bye, Ma. That's what I did mm. for like four years, earning nothing. Shit. And um, and that's how I survived, you but know, until. Why didn't you take the in front of the camera route? Because you work for someone and you're a booker. That's what you need to stay as. Mm. Employees. This is when I realized that you need to be an entrepreneur. Employees don't want you to be better. Mm, 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 mm. They don't want you to be they better. They want to keep you here. You have to keep you there. Mm. Once I become a star, I become his boss because he, he, I need to make money from him. So like, you're terrible. Like, I don't want to talk about that. But I don't want to say it in the way. I mean, my employee at the time, he was a very good friend of mine. We're still great friends. But I feel like he should have also let me go out there and audition sometimes, mm. you know. But And explore your talent. Yeah. But I was like, I just had a low self-esteem for a very long time. And oh. I couldn't. I didn't see myself in front of the low camera. Low self-esteem with that ass. I'm telling you. Jeez. Do you want to borrow it, folks? <laughs> <laughs> you want to see how, you, how, how about you do with it? Or, or when do we get to the Slay Queen life? So, what is the Slay Queen life? I don't know. Life? You tell me. I, because you know, any like, the Slay Queen, I think most guys, any rich nigga would never call a woman a Slay Queen. Mm, is it, is, it's broke niggas. It's broke niggas. Yeah. Broke yeah. niggas call us Slay Queen. Uh, I like wearing a Rolex. Yeah. I got Cartier's. I'm not gold digging. So you tell them to take a pair of pants, a pair of pants, a pair of pants, No, a man. So must, you don't understand. You don't understand because you don't know life's life. Who mm. not to tell them to learn challenge? Who? I mean, I always say I've got this like weird definition of slay queen. I'm like, I stay in my lane. I love myself. I arrive with confidence. Yesterday is gone, but I can redeem myself. It's like slay because every day you have to keep slaying. Why are you? Broke, why are you struggling when you have every asset as a woman as a strength to be, you know? You know, I was having a conversation with some friends of mine, right? And they said the slay queen term came about for a woman who's doing well in their field. Yes. And it's slay. That's what I'm saying. You stay but then in your us lane. broke niggas were like, well, they're fucking hoes. They fucking hoes. Mm. Any nigga that calls you a hoe is someone that's never fucked you. Because if somebody has fucked you, it's unlikely to Oh, hey, hey, buzz. Any nigga that's been with me, he can't call me. Yeah. He knows better. But if I want you. Because you know what? I collected from you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what's your definition of a slave queen? I then? said, you know, I stay in my lane. I love myself. You know, I've got an attitude. And even if yesterday is gone, I can still redeem myself. You have to reinvent yourself all the time. 
Okay, so when do you realize, okay, whatever, whatever you call it. I didn't realize, it's me. Mm. So when people are still saying things like, Queen, me, I'm moving. Mm. Maybe they'll create another name for me in 10 years' time. Mm. I'm moving. Mm. It's, it's got nothing to do with that. Because what people will call a woman a hoe, but you don't know what this girl has to do for survival. Exactly. Yeah. You can't judge. And it's her body. It's her body. And you know what? It's, it's what I always say is that I wish we could all stand outside and be naked mm. and say to her, okay, akapara, judge me. If we're all naked, it's okay. Mm. But when one person is doing it, it's a big deal. I've never understood why we judge women for being, it's your body. If you have a sex tape, but look, you. Yeah. But it's your body. You should be able to do whatever it is that you want to do with your body. Do you yeah. have one? <laughs> like on your, in your hard drive? I mean, I have one. You know, really? I mean, I genuinely wish I did. Like, I wish I could twerk or I wish I could have a sex tape, but I think I'm a love maker. I'm such a, mm. I'm like, I'm such a love maker. I like when you get into this world, because I know nothing about this world. What right? is this world? The the slay queen world. What is the slay queen world? I don't even know. You must tell us. You no, know, what okay, is Okay, have it? you been to the hockey you club? You say I'm there, but I don't know if I'm there. Have you been to the hockey club? What is the hockey club? That girl likes to work in. Jackie Pamut. I have, I mean, in any good spots where I've seen where there's rich niggas, i never seen that girl. She didn't really? live the life she's talking about. I'm not sure about all that. What is that club? I don't know it. Ask her. Because mm. she's been there. I've never seen no hockey club. Mm. I've never been in a place where people are negotiating what to pay for pussy. I've never been in those situations. Mm. So how about a hockey club? So, and actually, I can't. You know, I'm not going to have this conversation. I think it's boring. Mm. I've never been there. Mm. Uh, I've never been to Snake Park. I've been to Snake Parks, maybe in my own Snake Parks, but... I saw Bolin Ocha in my life and I've dated Bolinis, so. So when, when people say you're a hoe and you're a prostitute, where does that stem from? Uh, because I've got a big bum and I'm confident and I don't give a fuck and I own myself, that's why. Because it's maybe un- uncomfortable for people. And mm. you've got bookings in your bio on Instagram. Because what that's what most people say. Yes, bookings. Book like me for bookings. the club. Exactly. Book me there because I'm coming there. You are coming to the club because you want to see girls like me. Where do you see them? You are a nerd. You're a rich guy. Yeah. You're looking at your phone. You're like, let me spend my money. I've got nothing else to spend it on. Come to the club. That's what the bookings. So I'm, I'm a nerd. I own Facebook. I come to you mm-hmm. and I book you to entertain. I'm like, bring your girls. Entertain us for the night. Mm-hmm. And then at the end of the night, I want to sleep with you. I'm like, here's a million dollars. I mean, what would you do? Hey. You take it. <laughs> you, I, I take it. Ask, ask me. Ask me. I take it. That's a dumbass question. Exactly. I take That's it. That's a fucking, you know, I really thought you were a clever guy. <laughs> Million dollars. Give a guy. Let me calculate the fifteen million. <laughs> Just for sex, which you've had for free with other dudes. Exactly. Is there anything you wouldn't do for money? Yeah, there's a lot I wouldn't do for money. Like what? Like fuck it. There's a lot, man. I mean, but I mean, everything is always negotiable. <laughs> what have, have what you wouldn't rejected? you like? Like 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 this is the. I rejected ultimate. OnlyFans. No. At the, at the point where I was at my peak, yeah, people yeah. were like, it was like guys would be gauging of. Who can push this girl mm. to a point where, like, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see? I'm like, what do you want to see? Can Please. I shit on you in Dubai? No, you cannot shit on For me. For five million dollars. I'm going to vomit. No, I won't. I think I'll vomit. I've got, I've got a very sensitive stomach. Mm. I'm not judging anybody else like, that gets shit on. Mm. I mean, I mean, but you, you wouldn't eat anything. What do you know? You I mean, if you give me five million, you might as well shit in my mouth. Yeah. Can't believe I Definitely. Said that. <laughs> Definitely. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm not about the shit. Yeah. The no. piss? The piss, I'm not about it. I've got to say to someone, I vomit from smelling old soup. Oh. So it'll be a vomit and a shit party. So you've got a threshold. Like I wait. don't know if there's, I'm not, why are you guys already saying I'm selling? No, 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 the, the, no, no, the no, no, because. Ah, yeah, 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 you're leading me somewhere I don't th- like. You think so? Yeah. No. Oh, oh, there's a threshold of what? Yes, sir. In terms of like, like I said, I'm Mark Zuckerberg. I'm like, I've got five million. I want to sleep with no, you. No, you didn't say, you said one million. Yeah, sorry. One million. And I want to sleep with you. I'm, I, saying, I'm asking you, what would you do? I would do. Okay, you're sitting there and um, Michelle Obama's there. And she's like, hey, listen. Oh, like, I'd fuck the shit out of Michelle. For one million. <laughs> <laughs> you see that you look cute in your little dreadlocks from Africa? Wiggle your ass. <laughs> what are you going to say? You know, but you're going to be like, no, Michelle, I've got... Principles. But if Barack came, I'd say, ah, my dog. Oh, you've got, you've got him, yes. Yeah. Oh, hey, I'm not sure about this. <laughs> Which one is this one? <laughs> Let me run. <laughs> my food is going to take this. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. So when do you meet Faith then? When do you guys meet? 
I don't really want to have that conversation. I think this is my podcast. Yeah, no, it is. But it really is. And I'm over that question. To, to add it off, Faith was like my little sister. I met her when she was young. She was like 17. We took each other like little sisters. I think that she low-key got influenced. I was hurt by the situation. And maybe I'll tell that story when I'm actually got a proper... I'm not saying your, 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 yeah, your yeah, platform yeah. is proper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, And also as a woman, you don't... When you're friends with someone, just because you guys are not talking, mm. you're not going to go in now discuss what they did to you. But she does that about you. Does she? Yeah, she went on a live and said, I'd never go to OnlyFans, no matter... Mm. You know what? We had a conversation after that. I actually called and I said, what the fuck are you saying? Mm. And she said, no, she didn't say that. People took like... Oh, you, screenshots. You stomp, you say, and then made it seem like that. Oh, with yeah. no context. She would never... It's, it's, if that girl spoke shit about me, everyone else around her can speak shit about me, but she knows what's up between us. Do you mm. understand what I'm saying? So there is no way I think that she would say that. I don't think there's hate between us. I think that maybe Kim Khudi Sitse as a baby sister and she wanted to maybe spread her wings. And so it, she agreed. We, we agree each other. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's, life. That, that's life. That's life, yeah. And I feel like people want to make a big deal about women not being friends. Mm. Oh, I didn't fuck Faith's man. She didn't fuck my man. We never did. We are never interested because we are both equally capable. Mm. Her friends right now, maybe they're not equally capable. Mm. Maybe her friends are yes people and mm. I was not a yes people for her. You know what I mean? How do you guys start feline management? So, feline management, which is crazy. Feline management, well, I remember we were coming back from Nigeria. Hey, you guys travel, man. Yeah, we're, living soft, we're, we're living soft. I'd love to be we've a been, bag, we've been, um, we're coming back from Nigeria and we're getting booked and I was like, hey, let's register an agency. I went, and I, because I've got a good way. I know how to look at, I was a booker. I know how to look at a girl and say, hey, oh, I want to own and the potential. And your dad also. Yeah. So business wise. But I've always been, so we said, mm. let's do this. Start feeling like management. Um, any friend that I saw as a friend, I'd be like, hey, man, when are you good at this? We're going to the club. You're going to be a DJ. Mm. Oh, Wena, show me you're good at this. You're going to be a dancer. Miss Cosmo. Uh, you, you, no, I don't know her. Also, I can't own it. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I'm supposed to know. Oh, oh. No, continue, continue. Okay. So, we just thought, let's make money out of it. We started having pain and management. How? All of a sudden, we're chilling at home. I was even taking, doing a photo shoot here. I just did my walk-in closet. Oh, okay, but I'm so leather. Taking pictures. How? All of a sudden, we're trending on Twitter. How? This guy. Ah, Rick, but I'm like, hmm. so guys, if you don't think about it, look at me, look at, look at us. If there was a selling problem, don't you think the guys want to buy us first? Mm. I mean, I think we're really kind of hot. Mm. So people ended up glamorizing a very fucked up situation and making it like, I don't know, it was, it was ugly. But if you were selling girls, would you sit there and say, yeah, we were? Um, but I wasn't. So I'm not in that situation. Mm. So there's never been like a, a, a rich, maybe Nigerian billionaire who said, bring your friends. And then rapes them. I've got four guys. No, no, no. Listen, no you guys don't know. Them. You don't understand what they them. said. They said a girl got raped by 10, guy, ten guys. Jeez. Didn't you the girl say that? Yes. That, it's, not the, it's not the selling of the girls that was the, the story. It's the girl got getting raped by 10 guys and getting paid. I don't know how much. And she was human trafficked. So the person that made that statement used the correct keywords. Trafficking, mm, rape, mm. and... But wasn't it a girl who said that? There was nobody who said that. There was somebody who made a fake tweet. No one responded, like, DM Berry Rue, that fake Berry Rue on Twitter or something like that. <laughs> fake I don't want to insult that guy because, you know... Ish. <laughs> no, no, let's not talk about it. Yeah, no, no. Hey, have a nice day. So Mr. that was a fake account. We don't know. So it could be someone real. No, not from, from my camp. Mm. No, not from my camp. Because mm. everything was controlled at any point. And they used, this is what I keep saying, they used the right keywords. Okay. I was raped. Right. They human trafficked, trafficked me. Okay, trafficked. Trafficked, okay, trafficked or whatever. Mm. <laughs> trafficked. English, trafficked. What is it? Trafficked or trafficked? Oh, yeah, I was just such a traffic. Yeah. Uh, what are we deciding? Trafficked. 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 Yeah. What do you think? Trafficked. Trafficked. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the human trafficked, they used keywords. Keywords is like propaganda. Hits a person in the head. These girls don't look like human beings. They are obviously so gorgeous that they are evil. They're not humans. No, but they, will, they smoke this fire. There's no smoke. No. Fuck that shit. 
Nobody was told. Because, you know, okay, I've never, like I said, I've never been in that world, right? Well, well you still, t- you see, that's the problem. So I'm thinking, I'm, I'm applying my mind, right? So you think that they are so pretty that they're going to take other girls and sell them. Here's why I think you do that. Because as a woman, uh, you, can only be, you can only be hot for so long. No, it's not true. How old am I? I'm, approach, I'm approaching my 40. I'm even hotter yeah, than you, when I was 25. Ah, uh, you're one of a kind. So. Uh, what do you mean? I'm even hotter now than I was when I was 22. But. I'm getting more play. If, if That's I'm the smart. thing. Is that African mentality. Jorge. The older you get, you become reusable. It's like a car. No, it's not like that. Take care of yourself. Mm. You can still maintain. Why is it Jado still looking like that? Why is it. But, but. They will, if I'm a, if, I don't if, like that. If I'm a blesser, right? What I don't know. What does it bless? No, I'm just saying. When you date a girl, don't you give a man when? <laughs> well, I mean, it's like she wants McDonald's. You say, no, baby, take it. No, no, no. I buy a McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> but no allowance. What bitch? <laughs> allowance. <laughs> okay, so sometimes I'm fat now. Ay, next. I don't think oh, this oh, is a good look for you, my friend. You're like, <laughs> nobody's going to fuck you now. <laughs> <laughs> I, Linda, I'm, I'm done with this interview. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm a saying, stingy nigga. Nobody wants a stingy nigga. But, it's not cool. But what I'm saying, logic. If I apply my logic, right? Uh-huh. So Tebuko is hot, right? Sharp, not cool. Is. Yeah, uh-huh. right. Now I rock her for two years, two years, three years, whatever. After three years, I'm gonna want a younger Tebuko. Well, I mean, that's not if your pussy's not sweet. Mm. Mm. Do you know the older the woman is, the, the older the berry. Yeah, that, the yeah. Truth. for real. <laughs> I agree. I agree. For real. Okay, yeah. hey, you nah, agree. You guys Stop are calling camping. me a pimp to being like you know agreeing with a lot that I'm saying, huh? But do you, <laughs> no, I, I agree. I, I prefer all the women, so I know what you're talking about. Yeah, he's. But would you say that does exist, even though you I guys? I don't think it's like that. I keep telling you guys it's about energies. It's not about how you look. Somebody could be wrinkled, but you could have such a good vibe. Not everything is a commodity. So mm. It's about spirits. So what is this commodity mm. thing? Why are we trading? You're not even a trader. You don't even buy a, give your girl 1000 yeah. But when you want to put it on a trading place. No, yeah. leave that. But let's be honest, mm. right? Mm. Guys who've got the means do call up a girl who they know has got a lot of hot girls as friends. Wouldn't you? And yes, yes. And, uh, definitely, I You're would. You're judging there's them. Not, no, there's nothing wrong with that. Wouldn't you? I would too. If the girls are willing. So what I'm asking is... Have you never had a guy who said, bring five girls, i got three or five guys here, we're willing to spend, we've got a budget of 500K or a mil for the weekend, and the girls are willing, wouldn't you make that connection? I mean, I've, I've, I've hosted parties where we've been placed in situations, but I don't think anybody's out here getting raped by 10 people. Not raped, I'm but saying But that's willingly. what they said. You see, we, 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 are, we are diverting. Mm. Now you're trying to find the extras of what I do in the, in the weekend. No, no, I'm saying if the girls are willing. But, but it, that's the, 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 the initial issue of it is that nobody's busy getting raped. Nobody's been human trafficked. Mm. Okay, we get that. No so one let's leave this raped. story. Yeah, the 500,000, 1 million in this imaginary we world can, where people you? are getting fucked for mm. billions. That does, like, that's whoever does it when they want to do it. There's, a, there's a tweet that you said uh, You said people think that all doors are open in front of me But it was me who pushed them open What does that mean? I mean it's Every single time in your life you are judged You know, you have to explain Oh, oh my god, I went to school Oh my god, I want to be an actress There's never been a, a time when I've walked in the door And people are like, just take it And this is what I loved about <laughs> <You know this? laughs> Just take You're it an ad. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that Oh my god, you just take it <laughs> Um, and this is what I loved about my audition with Movango. Um, I have an agency called Star Quality and I was making them. Please, please. I went to costumes. And, you know, I haven't practiced my craft for a while, you know. And I always, I always felt weird about auditioning in front of casting directors. I felt that it was cold. So luckily during COVID, you could do a casting via... Um, uh, Zoom. No, not Zoom. Insta. No, no, you record your own casting. Oh, you record your so own casting. you set casting. up your own scene. You, oh, like, okay, like, cool. like the filmmaker vibe. Oh, you know? shit, dope. So that's how I did it. Mm, mm. I did a whole casting and then they submitted it. And finally enough, even my first scene at Mubango, I, they gave me, the, they loved it so much that they used the same outfit that I wore on my audition tape. Mm, awesome. So that was where I didn't have to prove myself. I actually did what I needed to do and they took me in. Yeah. And I think maybe that's why the universe is kind of making it. Because I mean, I literally was on that screen for a couple of seconds. Yeah. And all of a sudden, like, shit started going viral. So, you know, also everything happens in your own time and when the universe wants you and when you are ready. So that was the only time I actually didn't have to push the door open. Mm. I just 
They gave me a chance. Yeah, speak on the mic. Dude. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They give you a chance. Yeah. Yes, they gave me a Not chance. Not for your ass or whatever, just for your talent. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. If the but ass got me people, halfway into it, so be it. But a lot of people are saying there's a trend with Mufango that they only hire thick girls or beautiful girls. I mean, isn't that a good quality to a production because they know what sells? So is that mm. a bad thing? No, but and maybe, just because you have a big bum, does that mean that you can't act? Mm. Maybe the big bum girls are actually good actors, guys. True, Give us a true. chance. True. From from one sex symbol to another. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ta, ta. What did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> I want to <laughs> <laughs> I want to eat. It's a sex symbol. Show me. Not once a while. Wait, no, why? <laughs> Do you think that's not going to create a trend whereby if a soapy sing shit numbers, like, ah, let's get an Instagram girl with a big ass. I mean, ass. I'm a trendsetter, so it is what it is. Mm. And you can't help that. I can't. My, the problem, girl, now let's come, they must not cost me, thinking that now they think that when they cost me, I can't be back to square one, that I can't act, can I do bono? They don't want to cast me. Guys, go by link casting. Let me do auditions. I can act. The book, I want you to answer me something, right? Okay. Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay, breathe. Myself and him, during mm-hmm. this whole interview, we just interested about who you fucking... Yeah, yeah, how so much, you want to do like yeah, yeah, what wait. is? I okay. said, give me a sec. Okay, so who you fucking? How much you fucking him for? Whatever. Mm. But meanwhile, dude, you studied. I studied. I've got a degree at AFTA, and everybody that knows that you go to AFTA is not an easy school. If Why do you think most? Because I think me and him represent most males. Why do you think we like that? Because I don't know. I did, I was never that girl that looks like this, but now all of a sudden I am. Do you get what I mean? Before I was just no matter who was skating with the boys and trying to act, trying to do physical performance. Now all of a sudden, I just land here and I'm like this person who I don't know who they're talking about, but the core of the person that I am is that I'm a performer and I went to film school. I was just a normal girl, but because all of a sudden big bums are in fashion because we got propaganda that big bums are in fashion. Now all of a sudden, it's all is about your, me selling ass. Is your bum a gift and a curse? I'm happy with it. You know what? I used to cry. I remember. My dad one day, my boyfriend, you know, boyfriends in high school, you know, mm. he wasn't like a boyfriend, boyfriend was like the guy that used to. Yeah. yeah. He was like, yeah, everyone's like, he's got such a big bum. And I cried. And I called my dad, got home. He's like, why are you crying? I'm like, I didn't want to tell you. Papa, I'm a man. Tell him. But when I'm a man, you'll see when you're older. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Ish. Don't worry about a seat on. Don't worry about a seat on. <laughs> it's that smack. <laughs> <laughs> it's that smack. No, but you understand what I'm saying, so. Yeah, no, I Like, you. imagine, dog. Like, you didn't care about if I fucking have a brain or not. You just worried about who I fucked for a million rand. You know? Yeah. No, no, no. We're gonna I mean, get that's to that what part. it is. You, you've got that's substance. Been... You've got a lot of substance. That's one thing I've taken from the interview. She's not just an, you're not an airhead at all. Unfortunately, I'm not. I can't be. Fortunately. What else do you want to do, though? I mean, is acting like the last thing and you just okay, want to spend I've got, on that? I've got, I've got the most amazing brand, which people don't know. I went, I traveled, I've tried to find um, something that I loved. Um, obviously, I'm going to go into here eventually. Some, some stuff happened in my business that, mm. you know, unfortunately about South Africans, our government restricts women from growing in enterprise, right? Importing and exporting is the most... <laughs> Please, no, not that's the, Mesh. That's Mesh there. Hi, oh. Mesh. Mesh is quite a sick symbol. Hey, hey, now, hey, and he gets the most S. You know that. Uh, oh, yeah. His nice, name is Smash right. with a silent S. <laughs> he looks silent like a silent sniper. But he likes very loud S. <laughs> but like his S. S is silent. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, I hope not the most of a gangbang situation. Hey, you know. <laughs> so I have this brand called Bofam. Mm. A lot of women. Don't understand whether or not you've had lipo or you've done whatever. Waist training from the eight, early 1500s. For you to structure your waist to make corsets. it smaller. It's corsets. It's, yeah. And um, I love corsets. I've got this, which is called the Bofa Bounce. Mm. I get a Bofa. I get a Bofa, yeah. A, after a baby. 100% after, black owned. Black owned by me only. No white man behind no it. No white man. I financed my whole business. I struggle with my business. Uh Love no, it. it's a little Love it, love it, love <laughs> it. You know, um, so I've got, uh, my brand is growing. I mean, I started, fun, this was my first buff about. Mm. Let me show oh. you. This is the first buff about. Mm. It looks like this, right? 
So I want it's a bit small, you know, just yeah. for the lower waist. Yeah. Okay? yeah. So the, what must I do with this? Just hold it. Okay. <laughs> 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 and then I moved to bigger things. And this one is better. Like, this is like, this is my best seller. It's like an amazing, uh, it's amazing. We waste training gym with it, right? And then also now, hold it. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> do you have a girlfriend with a baby? I mean, I can, I can give you one. No, 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 no. Right, are you, so you no, good. No, no. So this you. is other one. This is the other one, which is um. No man, you mustn't look into my eyes. Make me feel weird. <laughs> oh. It's because of the gin you gave me. I'm feeling kind of sexy. Yeah? I did. No, like a sexy time. <laughs> Let's just enjoy. <laughs> no. Alright, cool. We're gonna play a game, right? It's called slaying or playing. Let's do it. So I'm gonna ask you girls that are on Instagram because remember Jackie. Yeah, Jackie Pamut. Plain. Yes. She said... <laughs> <laughs> Plain lying. She I, said... I, I about life. What's happening here? No, she said there's some girls on Instagram who are sponsored. And there's some girls who are really, really slaying. So you must tell us, right? Okay, fine. Uh, Sarah Langa, slaying or plain? Slaying. Nah. Yes. That's what you said. You know, you must say... You don't need back and take guy. Four. Ah, she's slaying. Yeah. Yeah, I Sorry. How is she making her money? Hi, bo. Get up. Mm, get up. Hey, where? <laughs> She's slaying. I can't say slaying or playing. You yeah. didn't say, uh, what do you think about her playing or slaying? Miss Shozi. Who's that? I don't know. You know? I just asked some girls that I know who are slaying on Instagram. Next. Do you know? Next. Uh, Eva Modica. Oh, Eva. She's cute. Come on. I don't know. Just move. But she's slaying. She, she, she's getting there. She will she's get there eventually. So there's I, levels. I, I feel like she can, she, you know, let's move. Mm. Um, Doro Mongi. Let's move. Who's that now? Let's move. I don't know. No, I don't know any of these people. Do you know these people? No, so, dog, who are these people, bro? I don't know these people. I asked Ghost Lady who are the ladies slaying on, on, on Instagram. No, no, no. I don't and these are the names. Move. move. Let's move. Let's move. Let me see. This is Tori. What about uh, Kifila Mabote? Slaying? I feel like she's slaying. Uh, Bootley Samuels. Slaying. Slaying. Of course, slaying. she's a colleague. Uh, Ino. Kawashima. You know, Molong, that's my chore, me. That yeah, one is you know, like, you know what? You come to a party and you say, I'm throwing a party. Call Ido Molong. Your party will make a million rent that night. Whoa. Trust me. Get more chomp. Slaying. Uh, what's the last one? Uh, Bushilicious on a Thursday. What's it? Babylicious on a Thursday. Oh, shame. Oh, shame. I'm at my coffee. I'm at my coffee. I'm at my coffee. She's the ancestor, bro. <laughs> No, she's, 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 the, she's the ancestor of this. No, Pabs is cute, Shame. Slay, she's a, yeah, she's she's a, a good card, person. Bro. I think I probably she's doing... started. Hi. She's the originator. How do you meet her? Um, I, you know what's crazy? They run the uh with an electric workshop. I have a little workshop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, I can get a stamp woman. I can stamp up a malicious. Also, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Yes. Nimrod. Mm, Nimrod. Okay. Oh, no. That one. She's, you know what? Um, I don't know her that well, but you know what? I, I respect her hustle. I think she's a good girl. She's, you know, she's tried. Yeah. Uh, your DMs must be crazy. Have you, do you have famous guys like DMing Obviously. you? Obviously. All of them. Rappers. I mean, if that's what about billionaires. They How do you navigate your DMs? I, you know what's crazy? I'm so psycho. I, yes. I res, you know I'm psycho. I respond to almost every DM. Wow. You for real? Yeah. So I should have DMs. I do. I do. I get about 99, 19. I'll show you now. Yeah. yeah. I'll show you now. Oh, there's a video. Let's see who's in your DMs right now. But you know what's crazy? If I'm in love, I won't even answer. Oh, anything. this French. Uh, last night was great. My God. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, okay, please. I'm going to tell you, Karim, you need to come back to the country so people can meet you. I call him Karim, he's my friend. Yeah. <laughs> but you were talking about when you're in love. When I'm in love, I don't cheat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. I'm such a faithful girl. You've been in love. I'm in love now, maybe. Yeah. yeah. What are you? What, how long has it been? I mean, it doesn't matter. It can if be dead in a celebrity, apart from cashless uh, society. <laughs> 
Ja, det er en counter-celebrity. Det er en counter-celebrity. Vi begynder en celebrity. Vi begynder en celebrity. Vi I'm a celebrity. Of course, I'm gonna attract celebrities. Who, who's, who's the most high-profile guy you've been with? I can't even talk about it. You'll be, you'll be mad. For real. What about politicians? Daily bread. Ne. Oh, so you're the new school Miriam Makeba. I'm the new school Whitney. Mm-hmm. I'm the new school Miriam Makeba. I'm the new school. Like, why wouldn't you want the best? I must date I'm just talking about some part So currently is your man like high profile? Uh, does he have a man? You okay. said you're in love now. That's what you said. I mean, I couldn't love with the, You said you're currently I'm in, in love. love with the stripper. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. In closing, uh, do you think your dad would be proud of what you've become? Um, uh, in the beginning no. Mm. But the out product is getting better. Mm. In the beginning he would be like, "Yo, I mean, I'm a princess. Mm. Mm. Go to my favorite. You know. Um, but now I think we, we're good. You know, I believe it's mm. important. I don't want to say I'm not a Christian, but I believe in ancestors. Mm. I believe that yeah. when you die, I don't believe in hell. Mm. I believe that when you die, they're going to open the gate. But no, like I can't look at it. You know? John Fully John Fully Gate. What, 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 what would you say to you is your biggest achievement when My you look son, back? My son, yeah, that that this little nigga, he taught me consciousness. Mm. If it wasn't for him, I'd be in the streets. Yeah, I believe. All right, cool. In closing, because you're about to do another interview now. Meeting. Meeting. Cool. In closing, what do you want to be remembered as? Tebuka. As a fucking amazing bad bitch. Who has a good personality and who's gonna enlighten your daughters to be comfortable with themselves? Beautiful, beautiful. Was it? Oh, because I look pretty. That's why you said it. No, no, no. I'm listening to you. I'm not looking. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. 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 Yeah. When are we getting back on OnlyFans? Yeah, I didn't subscribe. I missed. I out. think I must say I might just. But I don't know. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get married in the next few years. Yeah. Since, you know. You're trying to get married. I wouldn't mind. Oh shit! Regular How much is the ball? Yo, get to work. They want to run it. I said tau. It's tau cows. This has been podcast and chill. Tebuko, Yon Mubango. What else is happening? Yes. Uh, buffer belts mm-hmm. get snatched so you can look like me. I don't want to stand up because microphone in a mona. Mare we taking? If you want to no, sure, 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 sure. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Uh, sure, 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 sure. My sure. husband won't like that. No, it's fine. Just uh, young. Uh, we're gen- nice for you. Now, calm down. <laughs> this boy. Yeah, hey, he gave me the germs. I got personality. Please, guys, don't judge me about what I said tonight. Yeah. No, you're fine. But we love you, man. I love you too. Are you gonna come Thank back? Thank you much for the opportunity. Get no boy. I can't. I can't get close to you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Let's yeah. We'll we might just have a couple of things. We need channel. Uh, channel. People like us need a channel mm. that we can actually be free. I understand the free part, but babe, like think about it. We need a channel so that we can actually be realistic. Everybody that's running channels, I want to be what they're doing. Mm. What are we doing? Mm. People get billions and they, they, they do things that actually don't mean anything. Mm. In this day and age, people are dying. We don't know what's going on. We need to be conscious. We need to be loving and still be bad as we want to be. Mm. If I want to have 10 shots, let me have 10 shots. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. Sex I symbol? You. Yeah. Are you done having a sex symbol interview? Yeah, no, we're done, yeah. Not I'm on. 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 I'm on.